So I'm going to give you a live play-by-play -play of what happened here. I was called at this intersection because it was reported flashing red and green for the same direction. We'll call it eastbound. And if you saw, as I panned through there, there was two heads that were dark. And I, through my isolation and elimination process, I isolated down that these two heads were causing all the directions to do this. Once I eliminated those, the wire for those two heads, that direction was flashing just red. So I knew the problem was laid in that cable. So backing up, I got into the cabinet and I determined what wire fed over to those two heads. And if you see here, I've got a red and a green wire that's got black tape on it. That's how I marked it and knew that that was the cable. But how did I get to that part? So when I first got to the cabinet, I came over to the conflict monitor and I was looking at the see, you know, the previous failures and what it was showing. So what I saw first was, or the last most up to date failure was a dual indication, which means you have two indications for the same direction that came up. In this instance, we have a red and green and it's on the low switch eight position, which low switch eight happens to be phase eight. Um, and just to confirm that that was not just a one-time thing, go through the previous failures and you can see I've got multiple red and green uh, dual indication faults and they're all on that low switch eight position. So it's pretty good, pretty good chance that that's gonna be the problem I need to first focus on. Once again, I'm going through, there's my low switch eight and then the output of that low switch eight is on those field terminals right there. So chasing that cable that I marked there out to the field, it goes to a splice over there in that handhole or in the manhole that goes to that mast arm. In that splice, there were two cables. One cable fed that head there and the other cable fed that head there. So I'm gonna show you what I found in this, this uh, handhole or manhole when we open it up. I can see that uh, that would cause problems whenever it got wet. <laughs> Fully exposed. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the wrap left tape around it. What's that? The wrap left tape around it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to get rid of this stupid thing. I don't know why that's even in there for. That was a pain to get out. So we eliminated that, whatever that thing was, that little junction terminal block that we had in there. And we went ahead and spliced all the wires and we're gonna you know, tape them and secure them up so they're gonna be safe and dry. Uh, so right now, instead of this happening, once we removed all that and got it in, uh, secured, all the direction is now flashing like it should when it's on flash and it flashes this. So, um, you know, we did this in a, uh, it only, this only happened and presented itself during a heavy downpour. So we'll know soon. So I'm happy to report after the next big rainstorm we had, it went right back to red and green flash. Um, I really thought that might've been the fix, but it wasn't. So our next you know, thing to do is we're gonna just go ahead and pull a new cable in for that run. It, it's the furthest run or furthest point from the cabinet. So it's, it's a lot of working your way through conduits and getting on over there to that corner. So it sucks, but that's just gonna be our real fix. So anyway, Sometimes that's the way it goes. Feel free to leave comments and questions below and um, I will see you guys next time.